Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to section 2 of this tutorial, which is the introduction part 4, where we'll be looking how to export your mp3 files in high definition. Now this is really really simple tutorial, here in FL Studio I've made this quick song, I'm still working on it so I'm going to give you guys a quick preview. The sunlight keeps on hitting on me, got me thinking maybe you could be right next to me while drinking. No, I feel so lost. So it's just like the song, you know, and I went for that post Malone kind of type of track. And this is a new track that I'm working on for myself because I'm I love making music, you know. Um so as well as teaching music, I love making music myself. Now exporting files in the past have been quite crap. Because of the the way FL Studio used to work, you know, but now they've upped the game a bit and it, it sounds so much better. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys on how we can export high definition MP3 in FL Studio. So here you would always click on um the file, so file and click on export. And then you would run it down to mp3 file just over here and you'd select mp3 now you can put this anywhere you want so i would just put this into my documents for example let's say or like um let's say i put it into path documents and i would save this as um new track right so i would type in new track as you can see i typed in new track now make sure you've got mp3 selected you can just click on this little drop down and select different file types like for example flp zip file vaf file mp3 ogg flac midi dwp don't know what that is like the direct wave never really used it you will mainly use the mp3 and dot vaf file Obviously, these are the two main common file types used in music production. Now we select the high def well MP3. It's not high definition yet because we haven't selected the right settings. Then we click on save. All right. So um, once we open it up, we will get this box come up. The rendering. This is very important. This is where we change all the settings and everything that we need for our track, right? So. Over here, we've got all these different settings like the VAF, like then we've got stereo, bitray, the quality for different settings, and the malicious kind of settings, what you want. The upload to cloud, if you're using like different, you know, SoundCloud, you can upload to SoundCloud or different like cloud accounts, account, accounts that you can use. Now, pretty cool. All right, so we're going to run through it. Um, to export high quality mp3 file or vav file you know the diff two different things we're looking at mp3 file first so to export high quality mp3 file you would need to go over here select the mp3 make sure that you selected orange then you want to st select stereo here on the side and just make sure that this is selected as stereo and this is the bit rate Right, this is very important. This is what tells FL Studio what quality do you want it. That runs on like 56 kbps. The max bit rate you can get is 320 kbps, which is very, very high quality for an MP3 file. Now you want to always leave this, well, leave this as the max, because you want to kind of get the max output from your MP3 file, right? And so you you would usually rec I recommend you leaving this as as the max and you know this is going to be a high definition file straight away as because when you drag this up and you look over here this tells you exactly the information so this track is 82 bars runs at 2 minutes 50 and is 6643 kib which is equivalent to 6 0.6 megabytes which is quite high for an mp3 file obviously if you put this to minimum what people usually export which is 128 bit rate this is only if you look up here 2657 bit rate and i wouldn't recommend that if you're using the mp3 file you know if you're going to sell in it or you want high definition just put it at on the max because you want the highest quality possible, right, for your MP3, and then whoever you upload it, they can downgrade it to lower quality if they need. So you can always downgrade the quality, but you can't upgrade the quality. That's the thing. 
Do you understand? So that's the reason why you want that. Now, this is the sync, FL Studio sync. And what this does, guys, all right, the sync in FL Studio, it basically tells FL Studio how it should sync the track. So you've got the playlist at the top here, as you can see, and the sync would simply tell FL Studio that you want it to sync 512 point sync, which is max points per, you know, per little beat you know so it's the way it's gonna sample it and the way it's gonna export the render it's gonna sync it in 512 point sync which is the highest quality now you can select different point sync but the lower you will select okay the faster it will render so the faster it will take for you to export the file but the faster it takes the lower the quality the file is so I would recommend going for 512 point sync now if it takes 5-10 minutes if you're using really crazy high quality VST plugins let it run have a coffee have a cup of tea have a biscuit let it run because you know that you're gonna get the highest quality possible that you can for your track you know if you spend all that time producing it might as well export it the right way and here you've got all these settings high quality for plugins disable differing you want to leave this as it is so high quality for plugins disable maximum polypony just leave that selected because that's right you don't want to enable differing so this is like differ in 16-bit output you just want to leave that unselected now down here you don't need to worry about this this is only going to be used when you're exporting in VAF format okay um, some of the settings will work if you're exporting it OGG it depends on how you want to export it but we only be going to looking at VAV and MP3 as these are the music industry standard two file types that are used and everyone is familiar with MP3 as we all had the MP3 players and everyone's familiar with VAV files because this is what all the sound engineers use so down here you don't need to worry about this because this is only for VAV file so make sure you've got the mp3 selected now we've selected stereo we've got the right bit rate so we know we've got the highest bit rate coming and we know we're gonna be exporting in a highest sync so when we press start okay um, it says that we don't have a soundcloud now I accidentally left that connection so I'm just gonna select no okay and I'm just gonna deselect this upload to cloud because I don't want it and I'm gonna start again Now there you go, as you can see, it cut my voice off because I'm actually using the internal sound that's giving me the output. But you can see it didn't take that long. <laughs> I was just having a bit of fun with you guys. Now that wasn't that bad for exporting a whole track. Obviously I'm not using any VST plugins, just a track MP3 instrumental with vocals. So if I go into my actual folder, which is PAV, I should have the song in here. And there it is, look. There it is, right here, it says new track see that so if I select this now you can see the track starts playing so as you can see I just done that and exported the whole track really simply got high definition if I right click on it click on properties We've got a really high definition MP3 file here, guys. And how we how do we know that? We click on details here at the top, and it tells us it's 320 kbps using the lame um, encoder in FL Studio, which is what FL Studio uses. It's got 150 beats per minute, which is awesome, you know. And the file size over here is 648 megabytes. So as you can see. It's really, really cool, really high definition file here, um, you know, that we're going to have. And I'm just going to run this export again, right? So ex export MP3, and I'm going to run this on the same folder, okay, PAV. And I'm going to run this new track, 
and I'm gonna just put a title here and say low quality right I just want to demonstrate to you that what it would sound like in low quality so I'm click on save and I'm gonna select here 32 megabytes and two point linear actually this would be really bad but I'm gonna do it just for demonstration I'm gonna click on start So as you can see, it was a little bit faster, not that fast, but it ran the export and done it. Now if we look into the folder, we've got the low quality and a high quality file. Let's have a quick listen to the low quality. Can you hear that? Straight away you can hear the difference. See that? Pretty distorted, horrible. So compare that to the high quality one. No, I feel so, lost. so I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is a really, really good tutorial that shows you why you should export in high definition in, in FL Studio. Let's have a look at, well, the next one. And we'll be looking at the next part of this tutorial, which is how to save and export high definition WAV files in FL Studio. Okay? And then after that, we'll be looking at how to export project stems which is all the different kind of project files that the music and sound engineer needs to mix down the final track with the artist but let's look at f part five now on how to do this in part five on how to export in high definition web files also if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're watching this and enjoying these tutorials also below the video in the more description you will find a link to this website which is Producers Buzz, which is my website and you can click on all these different titles which will take you straight into um, the actual video so it saves you trying to flick through my YouTube find which part is what you can just go here and click on all these different sections which will take you straight into um, the video you want to watch alright, peace out